Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this afternoon we're going to be changing the springs and shock absorbers on the back of the Golf GTI. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be a quick one. As you can see the springs in a pretty shorty state and it uh, was an advisory on the last MOT so I'm just getting them changed before the next one. Should have probably done it before now but these things happen. And on the other side, the shock was uh, weeping, so working on the principle that they're the same sort of age, I'm just gonna change out this rear shock as well. So keep watching. So to do this job, strictly speaking, you just need a couple of 16 mil spanners. I'm using some spring clamps, although you don't technically need them. Hopefully it'll make life a little bit easier, I did yesterday. And a large pry bar. And that is about it. Everything's been soaked with judicious amounts of the good old WD-40. So let's see if that has done its thing. Right. So. Oops. Nice movement. Yes. yesterday just take a little bit of the stress off with the jack just helps even that out for some reason that wants to twist that so literally it's only a couple of mil needed with the jack just release Lower the jack back down again. Right. Put that back there so we've got something to pry off. Let's get the pry bar under here. the old spring out. Hopefully you'll be able to see this up here. Um, I'll pull this down, you can see this rubber's in a pretty sorry state. But there's two 16 mils up here that we just need to look a dugger out. Absorber. 
It's ever so nice for this car not to be fighting us for once. Right, so here's the top of the shock absorber. So there's a little cap on the top here, which should just pop off like so. It's not held on very tight. And then that exposes this nut at the top here, which hopefully you can see. There we go. Um, and there's a little flat piece on the very top of the shock absorber. Uh, experience from yesterday tells me, squirt a WD-40, put that in the vise in the shed, and then this will hold it nicely to undo it, because otherwise, this just spins freely. And then we have to oogle out the manky, manky old rubber, as you can see. Um, and that is the old shock absorber disassembled. And then it's a case of putting the new one together.